Sure. Closed session for morning. Like this thing, huh? Um, committee input. I have Tom. I think Tom is, is Tom Faye. Tom, you want to come to the mic and sure. introduce yourself and talk about what you needed? Tom, you give us your name, address, and okay. uh, you have three whole minutes. to. Three whole uh, minutes. Maybe I'll read. That'll be quick. Yeah, you can do that. Give okay. us your name, address for the record. Um, Tom Faye. I live at 304 Lakeshore Drive, Lake Mills. I'm here with uh, my associate, Doug Bruss, who is uh, a spokesman for our food drive. So. Uh, Good evening. Thank you. Thank you for allowing us to speak. Um, again, my name is Tom Fay, and next to me is Doug Bruss. We are here to explain the rationale behind sponsoring the food drive called Miles for Meals. For 2015, the event will be held at the Lakeside Lutheran High School on Saturday, September 12th, from 9 in the morning to 5 in the afternoon. This one-day food drive is an attempt to replenish some of the items available in the Lake Mills Food Pantry. Lakeside Lutheran's wonderful track provides the arena for the day-long walking of laps. During this time, we accept non-perishable food items, cleaning supplies, paper goods, and personal care items. We pack these items in boxes and deliver them directly to the pantry. Then, too, some people prefer to donate money, which is also readily accepted and given to the pantry for their purchases of food and supplies. Now, I realize that throughout the year, there are several food drives held in our community, and usually all of the contributions are collected for the benefit of the food pantry. However, the Miles for Meals food drive is different in several ways. Difference one, because of the access to the lakeside track, Doug and other members of the community walk at a brisk pace around the track. There is a double benefit here. The walking is good for your fitness and well-being, and the donating to a worthwhile cause also makes you feel good. Doug goes around and around and around <laughs> the track, around and around that track all day. Well, pretty soon there are children and other adults following Doug. It's kind of like a Pied Piper uh, <coughs> approach. So there is also an enter entertainment factor from watching this parade. <laughs> Doug, tell them how many miles you cover. 26. Pardon me, 26.2, marathon <clears throat> length, 104 laps, right? 104 laps, marathon distance in the day. Surprising. Difference two is that Miles for Meals has a unique history. Years ago, Doug first organized this type of food drive when he and Mary lived in Deerfield, Illinois. When they moved permanently to Lake Mills, Doug felt strongly that this concept would flourish in our community. By the way, there are currently 35 to 40 families who visit the pantry twice a week. These families consist of 75 adults and 43 children. Now this statistic is surprising, at least to me, but nationally it is reported that 50% of the school children need government subsidized lunch programs. Difference three, Sensory Foods in Lake Mills is our main sponsor and contributor. Brian Conrad provides $200 in gift certificates as an incentive <coughs> to walk. These certificates can be redeemed at Sensory or donated to the food pantry. You can earn a $5 certificate for walking two laps or two $5 certificates for walking four laps, which is equal to one mile. Two certificates are the maximum for individual, couple, or family. Lastly, difference number four, this is our third year for organizing miles. In 2013, we were at Lakeside High School and collected 1,100 pounds of food and $2,200 in checks and cash. In 2014, we were at Commons Park in downtown Lake Mills and received only 515 pounds of food and 576 in checks and cash. So we are returning. In 2015, we're going back to Lakeside because of their track and excellent location. This is a win-win for you and the pantry. Bring a can of food or more to the high school and then walk a few laps. Thanks for your attention. Thanks, Tom. Mm -hmm. 
September 12th, right? 12th. September 9 12th. To, 9 to 5. 9 to 5. Thank you. Any other committee input? Yeah, I didn't have anybody else sign up with me, so. Okay, consent agenda. Minutes of July 8th, special meeting of July 13th. Regular and executive session meeting and July 27th special meeting. I move approval of the minutes of the July 8th, 2015 special meeting, the July 13th, 2015 regular and executive session meeting, and the July 27th, 2015 special meeting. Second. Moved and seconded to approve all the minutes of the meetings we had. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Same let, sign. Let the record show that I need to abstain as I was not a participant in one of the meetings. Okay, three, four, and one abstention. Vouchers and invoices for July and treasuries for June and July. Move to approve the vouchers and invoices in the amount of eight hundred ninety-three thousand three hundred nineteen dollars and ninety-three cents for the month of July two thousand fifteen, and the treasurer's report for June and July of two thousand fifteen. Second. Noted and seconded to approve the vouchers and invoices in the treasury report. Any comments, questions? Roll call, please. Aye. 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 That passed unanimously. Administrative reports, Mrs. Thompson. Good evening. I wanted to write, remind everybody that we have online registration open at this time, and it's open through Thursday, August 14th at 3 o'clock. We also have picture day. The last one is Thursday, August 13th from 1 to 7 o'clock at Lake Mills Elementary School. I wanted to thank all of the participants of the focus group for communication. I know some of the board members were a part of that, community members, and our staff members. So thank you for your input. Mr. Voss will be taking all of the results of the audit and presenting us with feedback to help us with a strategic plan for communication. Back to school night for our elementary school is Wednesday, August 26th from 4.30 to 6 o'clock. And this is a time for our students to drop off their school supplies and meet their new teacher. The other day as I was driving in the car, I heard on the radio um, them ask, what is it that teachers do in the summer months? Well, I can tell you what our teachers have been up to. The month of August is very busy. Last week we had seven of our teachers and staff members participate in Responsive Classroom in Madison. This week we have four elementary teachers and five middle school teachers in New York participating in Teachers College Reading Summer Institute. We have our 4K teachers attending an early childhood conference. We have four teachers in August 18th and 19th attending a PBIS conference. We have teachers, 13 staff members that will be attending everyday math trainings to enhance our math um, instruction for our students. And then we have 25 staff members that will be ten attending a Words Their Way training on August 21st. So they are very busy preparing for the students that will be entering back to school in September. Any questions? I have a question. The communications committee you're talking about, is that a district-wide committee or? It's not a committee, a it was a purpose or? Sure, they were focus groups. So we, um, participants were invited to meet with Mr. Voss to be able to provide input about our current, the current state of communication and some wishes for the future. District-wide or just Partici at the Yes, district-wide, okay. yep. Are you gonna be sending out a report of the finding when these are found? He will when he's done. Okay. Will it be meeting again? I mean, is it a standing committee or just? No, it's, it's not part a standing of, committee. Okay. It was part of your strategic plan as to okay. how can we do it better. And this was one of the ways was to have him come in to from Susa to okay. and, and to talk with people as to how the district, where we are and what we can do to do it better. Okay, so we'll all be getting, all the board will be getting information. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Nicholson. I'm going to start out tonight by talking a little bit about what's going on at the middle school. Um, Megan came back today, that certainly means, uh, or one of our secretaries came back today, so that certainly means the year is gearing up. Uh, we have 
higher well uh, I have um, in the board packet tonight for your approval a 567 ELA position um, if that's approved then we still have the 0.5 science and social studies position to fill otherwise we are sitting pretty good for hiring as at the middle school and just a reminder uh, for parents uh, that we have that parent um, open house August 25th from 4 to 6 if parents go around and complete all of the um, um, items on their passport they can pick up their child's Lenovo that night uh, uh, district-wide uh, we have our new teacher day August 20th um, as mentor coordinator we are working on um, getting that set up for them um, just to let you know where we are with ESCA we're fi finishing up the end of the year reports and uh, doing our um, plan for next year that's due at the end of this month and as epic um, we have uh, all of our reports went through to the state they were all submitted they were all done in a timely fashion the state gave us a little more time than they thought um, and then just today I rolled all over all of the um, teacher evaluations um, for the beginning of this year any questions for me all right thank you thank you mrs. strike and at the high school, um, as you can see, lots of construction going on and they're finishing up and I'm sure Mr. Sanders will talk more about that, but I just wanted to mention that the parking lot, the beautiful new parking lot, is not going to be for student parking during the day. So I need to keep getting that message out to, to uh, students that that is gonna be um, auditorium parking, staff parking, and I still need for the kids to park uh, in the parking lot at the, at the front of the school. Um, with our new food service, an important announcement that we need to share with families is that there's not gonna be any more tra cash transactions. We're not gonna have a concession window as kids have known it in the past. And so um, we're gonna need for families to put money on in the student's account so that they can um, enjoy all of the a la carte options that are gonna be available to them. We're very, very excited about our new food service. Um, our first day, September 1st, is um, just a reminder that only freshmen come in the morning from 8 to noon and that uh, our link for link crew activities and then all students begin at noon. Work has begun on the fall musical, Once Upon a Mattress. Lots of excitement around school about that. They're building sets as we speak and it's very exciting. Um, our staff members too are geared up, attending lots of curriculum meetings, working on lots of planning for the upcoming year. And I know you're gonna ask this, so I was um, being forethoughtful. Football has started and we have 48 players and two managers. Um, volleyball, cross country, boys soccer start on the 17th and dance begins on the 31st. Equestrian team has unofficially started there, as you know, riding all the time. Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you. Mrs. Sivru. Good evening. So I'm gonna start my report tonight with um, some changes in assessment that DPI has announced. And I don't know how many people know this, but um, the Act 55 has changed and the, bill, the budget bill has changed assessment for the district. We will no longer be taking the ninth grade Aspire in the fall, and we will no longer be taking the WKCE for science and social studies in the fall. Those two tests have um, gone away. Last year we took the Badger assessment for the first time and the last time um, the legislature had has barred the state from taking that test again. So at this point, the state has put up an RFP for test vendors for this year, so we do not know what the test will be this year, but we do know it will be in the spring, and it will still cover grades three through eight, English language arts and math, and then social studies and science grades four, eight, and 10. We believe the ACT will still be given for the 11th graders and the Aspire for ninth and 10th graders in the spring. Does that make sense? So lots of changes for assessment. Um, this will be the last year that PALS is authorized by the state. So they started that test probably about four years ago as a reading screener for kindergartners, first and second graders. And they will no longer be funding that after this year, but they want us to still use it this year. So lots of changes um, for assessment and accountability. Again, um, and the state has also said there will be no school or district report cards this year issued by the state because of the changes in testing, but they said they will be issuing them for the following year, even though we don't know what the assessment is yet. So some interesting information coming from the state. In your board packet, you have my seclusion and restraint report that is required yearly. Um, that you can see the, the number of instances of seclusion and the number of instances of restraint by regular ed and special ed. We're really proud of the fact that we worked hard with staff this year on professional development 
and we have reduced the number significantly from last year, from the prior year, um, to make sure that our students are only being restrained when absolutely necessary for their safety. My um, next thing is another thing that is required by uh, Act 55, and that is that they are now requiring a declaration of educational standards every year, and that we have to declare as a board at the first board meeting after July 1st, but they made the law after July 1st. They made it July 15th, they posted it, that um, what our educational standards are that we follow for this curricular for this year, for this school year. And um, so on the website, I have posted all of the curriculum standards. There is now, if you look at the website, uh, it says um, under district, it will say um, learning and student services. And under there, there is a section called curriculum. And under curriculum, I have now posted the curriculum that we wrote this last year for um, scope and sequence for English language arts, music, and world languages is all posted there. And then there's another bullet that says content standards. And there are links there for each of the content standards that we have. So under most of them, we follow the Wisconsin model um, academic standards, but for um, English language arts, literacy, and math, we follow the Common Core State standards for all of our curriculum writing. There's also a definition of content standards that I placed there that I'd like to read because I think there's a lot of confusion between curriculum and content standards. And content standards are very specifically an articulate, articulate an essential core of knowledge and skills that students should master. Standards clarify what students are expected to know and be able to do at various points in their K-12 academic career. These standards are intended to focus teaching and learning, guide curriculum development, and provide a basis for accountability systems. The curriculum is how we teach, what we do to get students to, to meet those standards. So it's a little bit different. That's all I have, any questions? If some of these tests are gonna be um, no longer done, are they used for anything in the classroom and for student assessment other than just giving the information back to the state or? PALS we do use um, at the elementary level. That one's only given kindergarten um, 4K? 4K for so kindergarten first and second. Yeah, you know, right now we also use Ames Web. They're both screeners. We'll have to make a decision what, what do we want to do going forward. But it gives us information about how quickly students are reading and at what grade level students are reading. So it gives us some, some pretty valuable, PALS gives us valuable feedback right away, which is kind of nice. So we'll make sure that they're, they're going to require us to have something in place. They haven't said, I think we get to choose whatever we want in the following year. And then they're supposed to give us some money towards the purchase of something. Did this board adopt the Common Core Standards? To my knowledge, yes. I think so, too. I don't know when it was, but so that's what drives our curriculum. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Chady. The summer is always a busy month in the business office. Many people find that hard to believe, but there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, trying to wrap up our 2014-15 fiscal year in budget. Uh, continuing work on that, and uh, the end is near. Um, Avions is on board. Uh, they are here in district today. Uh, we have a new, or they have a new director of our program, Kathy Coyman. Uh, some of you may recognize or know Kathy. She was formerly with uh, Lakeside Lutheran High School a number of years ago as their food service director, and then spent time at the University of Wisconsin and also at Edgewood, Col Edgewood College. Um, so she is returning to Lake Mills. She's a resident of the district. Um, so they are on board and really kind of gearing up starting today. We're also looking into um, utilizing ASOP or acquiring ASOP as an automated subcaller. Um, so we're looking, we were over in Cambridge last week uh, to see how they utilize Skyward and ASOP to facilitate the calling of substitutes that uh, occur and then um, one of my colleagues, I think it was Mrs. Thompson, that talked about registration. We had our first registration night last week. I think we had 570 plus families or so come through. Um, so pictures, so about a third or just over a third of our students um, have obtained their picture. Many more have registered online, just simply haven't received the picture yet. But I'd like to give some accolades to Roseanne Punzel for orchestrating the um, online registration component in particular. So um, she's certainly do lots of credit there. And then just trying to stay on top of all the staffing changes with staff departing, resigning, and going elsewhere, and the new hires that are coming on board. 
Uh, with all that comes a lot of HR and payroll um, maneuvers that need to be taken place to get them set up, get their insurances in place or terminated, depending upon if they're coming or going. So a busy month. Thank you. Mr. Sanders? Well, I would <clears throat> yep. Yep. Sorry. just first want to thank Patty for getting out the board packet. The, uh, an awful nice job of putting things together from a phone call from Madison from me. So, um, again, she, I want to thank her for doing that. Secondly, the high school remodeling project, just to kind of update you where you are, if you, as you came in, you will see that the parking lot behind you has been paved, uh, striped, and the uh, landscaping, flowers, bushes, materials will go in tomorrow. The painting of the outside of the building has begun. The north side or the west side has been painted. The other two will be painted sometime this week, depending on humidity and dust uh, type of thing. Inside, the bathrooms downstairs are, other than some paint, pretty much finished. If you get an opportunity, please stop and take a look at those. And the HVAC will be done by the end of next week. All of the ceilings will be in, all of the unit vents. All the windows are done, um, and again, I think they look really pretty nice from the outside. And again, I, I got to believe the energy savings that you're going to see in those is uh, going to add up over time. So that's kind of where we are. Next week, the roof on the far end of the building will be um, re, not replaced, but redone. Um, and that's the tech ed wing and the hallway coming from the main building out to the tech ed wing should be done. Um, other than that, the landscaping and some work has been finished up at the elementary school and um, there are some trees that need to yet be planted, but uh, across the road where the parking lot was is, is done and is being reseeded again and the fences have been moved. And uh, again, all of that work will be done before we start school. Did they do the reseeding on that new area yet, Dean? That's what I just said, yes. Yeah, they did. Yes. I drove by there, I think, yes, it looked like it was burnt to a crisp. Like. That's because there's nothing in, I mean, it's just seed right now, so. Okay, and we haven't had rain. We, not no. until today, okay. we had a little. Okay. We've been watering as much as we can. The yeah. problem is that you can't, we can't move our irrigation watering system to the old parking lot because you can't put a hose across the road. The fire hydrant's on the other side of the road. So the city statutes say you cannot do that. So we have to help nature or we're gonna to have to ask the fire department to help us out by bringing in a truck. You could have a hard time seating if you don't get help. Right, right. So that's all I had. Okay, thank you. Uh, action items, approval of professional staff resignations. We have a couple this month. Number one, please accept my letter of intent to resign as my position as occupational therapist for the school district. As you know, it was my intention to return to my position after last year's sabbatical. I apologize for the change of plans. Please know that the last 20 years at the school district have been wonderful. I've enjoyed the experience of working alongside some of the most caring and talented teachers, in addition to the honor of working with some of the most delightful children and parents. While the decision to leave this position has been a difficult one, it also is the only one that allows me freedom to visit my children and grandchildren, uh, none of which live in the Lake Mills area. Thanks again for the opportunity uh, to work with the children of Lake Mills, respectively yours, Lynn Larson. Uh, and again, that's an occupational therapist. Second one I have is please accept my official resignation from the Lake Mills Elementary School. I have accepted a teaching position much closer to my home at Cumberland Elementary School in Whitefish Bay. I have enjoyed my career in this district for the past five years as a new teacher and have grown exponentially both as an educator and an individual. It has been a wonderful working alongside teacher staff and parents of Lake Mills and forming some great lifelong friendships. I will carry with me the lessons I have learned here as, as I progress further in my teaching career I wish you and the Lake Mills School District continued growth and success in the future. Sincerely, Nicole Miller. The other one I have is by, I am writing to inform the school that I am leaving my second grade teaching position. As you know, this summer I had the opportunity to travel to the United Kingdom for six weeks and nanny for a family I've known for quite some time. 
They have offered me a job to become their full-time nanny, an opportunity to travel the world with them, spending summers abroad. While I love teaching my second grade team and my coworkers, my gut tells me this is an opportunity of a lifetime that I cannot pass up and I may regret not taking the chance. I have enjoyed my time teaching at Lake Mills Elementary School. It has been rewarding and memorable. I will always treasure the relationships I have formed and my time spent as a kindergarten and second grade teacher. With great dismay, I must give my resignation letter and with much respect, I have appreciated the opportunity that has been given to me, uh, Miss Emily Oates. And then lastly is please accept my resignation from my 2015-16 contract as a full-time Spanish teacher and ELL support teacher for the Lake Mill School District. Uh, and again, we will talk about work with the elementary program later in this. Uh, my husband has accepted a position with UW-Madison and allows me the flexibility to follow my passion of ELL programming. Um, she goes on to speak, I had the opportunity to work 25% of my contract last year uh, with the ELL students from kindergarten through high school and found that truly enjoyable, uh, not only with the students, but also using my Spanish ability to help the students and families better navigate the school system. The ELL program with two part-time staff and bilingual aides was able to provide interventions at the elementary school level, maintain bilingual contact with families, administer access tests, and touch base with ELL students in middle and high school. Thank you for your consideration. I truly appreciate the support the Lake Mills Area School District has given me as an individual to pursue my passion, Ms. Tara Williams. I'll take a motion. I move the board approve the resignations of Ms. Lynn Larson, occupational therapist, Ms. Nicole Miller, kindergarten teacher, Ms. Emily Oates, second grade teacher, and Ms. Tara Williams, high school Spanish teacher, and thank them for all that they have done for the students, parents, community, and school district of Lake Mills. Second. Moved and seconded. Questions, comments? Roll call, please. Bob Imperial. Aye. Donna Thomas. Aye. Don Delaney. Aye. Richard Mason. Aye. And that passes unanimously. Approval of co curricular resignation. Yeah. And it ended up that we only had um, one. We thought there was more coming. Uh, the one is this letter is inform you of my resignation as seventh grade volleyball coach. I have enjoyed serving the school and sports programs in Lake Mills at various levels and hopefully will return in the near future if circumstances and opportunity will allow me to do so. Please accept my thanks to the school and the program. Uh, sincerely, Craig Legal. I move the board approve the co-curricular resignation of Mr. Craig Legal, seventh grade volleyball coach, and thank him for his time and effort for the athletes, parents, community, and the school district of Lake Mills. Second. Moon was seconded to approve um, co-curricular resignation. Questions? Roll call, please. Aye. 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 And that passed unanimously. Approval of paraeducator resignation. I am sending this to inform you that I will be staying in New Los Angeles and will need to resign my position as special ed aide. It was a great pleasure to work with Lake Mills High School and to have had the opportunity and experience there. Sincerely, Cindy Hoppy. I move the board approve the resignation of Ms. Cindy Hoppy, high school special education paraeducator. Thank her for her time and effort to the students in school district of Lake Mills. Second. Moon seconded to approve. Paraeducator resignation. Questions? Seeing none, roll call please. Aye. 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 That passes unanimously. Approval of professional staff contracts. I have contracts for you tonight from, and again, we're on the new second page. Serena Haberman, Haberman, I'm the second grade teacher. Aaron Kipp, who will take the fifth through seventh grade English language arts. Car Carly Miller, fourth grade teacher. Kevin O'Brien, high school technology education teacher. Casey Sisson, the high school Spanish teacher. And then a 25 0.25 FTE LL ELL teacher <coughs> contract to Tara Williams. Motion, please. I, I move the approval of the following professional staff contracts Serena Haberman, second grade, Aaron Kipp, 527 in, in grade English language arts teacher, 
Carla Mil Carly Miller, fourth grade teacher. Kevin O'Brien, high school technology education teacher. Casey Sisson, high school Spanish teacher. Kendra Shelton, no, nope, nope, that one's not. That's why we're looking okay, at the new sheet. Okay, you took that one off. Yep. Tara Williams, ELL teacher. Second. Moon and seconded to approve the professional staff contracts. Con comments, questions? Roll call, please. Bob Aye. 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 Richard Mason. Aye. That passes unanimously. Uh, approval of co-curricular letters of assignment. Um, in your in your package, you will find letters of write-up for Mr. Justin Annan as the head boys bas baseball coach, Ms. Kaylee Cottrell as a seventh grade volleyball coach, Mr. Sam Fossil, head boys soccer coach, Ms. Megan Larrabee, freshman volleyball coach, Ms. Josie Morris, co-head cross country coach, Mr. Todd Patton, head golf coach, Mr. Dylan Strasburg is an assistant football coach, and Tori Zastro is the eighth grade volleyball coach. Motion, please. I move the board approve co curricular letters of assignment for the 2015 16 school year for Mr. Justin Annan, head boys baseball coach, Ms. Kaylee Cottrell, seventh grade volleyball coach, Mr. Sam Fazel, head boys soccer coach, Ms. Megan Larrabee, freshman volleyball coach, Ms. Josie Morris, Co head cross country coach, Mr. Todd Patton, head golf coach, Mr. Dylan Strasberg, assistant football coach, and Tori Zastro, eighth grade volleyball coach. Second. <laughs> Moved and seconded. Thank you. Um, questions, comments? Okay, roll call, please. Donna Thomas. Aye. Don Delaney. Aye. Aye. Hi, that passes unanimously. Uh, approval of cooperative services contract with Watertown for the deaf and hard of hearing. We have one student that we need to have help with um, more help than we can provide with the deaf and hard of hearing services. We in, in the past have done some of this work through CESA, but we were able to do a 66.031 agreement with Watertown who's got a teacher who I know is very, very, very good, um, who's got time to be able to work with our one student. So this really uh, works out favorably for our district to be able to do this agreement. I move the board approve a 66.0301 cooperative service contract with the Watertown Unified School District for deaf and hard of hearing services for the 2015-16 school year. Second. Moved and seconded to approve the, um, the contract with the Watertown School District, the deaf and hard, hard of hearing. Questions on that? Roll call, please. Aye. 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 And that passes unanimously. And the only thing on that is we will need some signatures at the end of the meeting. So. All right. Uh, approval of previous year's budget adjustment. We're ready to go in that? Yeah, uh, presented at the board table this evening is a pink sheet um, that follows the DPI's um, framework for the budget adjustments that are necessary. Uh, these are in reflection of the 2014-15 budget. We needed to move some dollar figures from various items, um, primarily taking money from business administration to other areas that it uh, went over the budgeted amount. Um, so the form there captures those as far as the necessary movements of dollars from business administration to elsewhere within the budget. I move the board approve the 2014-15 budget revisions as presented and that they be published. Second. Moon seconded to approve the budget adjustments. Questions? I think we just have to publish that once. Roll call, please. Aye. 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 Aye, and that passes unanimously. Approval of salary increases for 15-16 school year. Well, I would move that this agenda item be tabled 
at this time and further move if i can do a combination motion um, that the board establish a comprehensive employee compensation committee uh, to be headed by uh, Ms. Pam Strike to look at salaries, benefits, et cetera, for the 2016-17 school year and beyond. Second. For a second. Moved and seconded to table salary increases for the present. I, Questions? Yeah, I thought this committee was going to be headed by the WSB consultant that we hire. Well, you have to have somebody heading up your side of the committee, and then you're hiring a consultant. Okay, will they be here all the time then? Well, I would imagine. I hope so. Any other questions? Comments? All right, roll call. No. John Delaney? Aye. Aye. Hi. Um, and then passes three to one. Approval of gifts. Yeah, two gifts this month. One is a uh, Englehart cello and case from Miss Susan Hart, which is valued at about four hundred and eighty dollars, which was given to our orchestra program, and three hundred dollars from the Lake Mills Moravian Church to help fund field trips for students who are not able to do that at the elementary school. Motion, please. I move the board approve the following gifts. It's an Englehart cello and case from Ms. Susan Hart, valued at $480 for the orchestra program, and $300 from the Lake Mills Moravian Church Outreach Committee to help fund field trips for students of the Lake Mills Area School District and thank them for their generous donations. Second. 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 Mrs. Dr. Delaney. Um, Questions or comments on that? Can we thank them for their gifts? Roll call, please. Aye. 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 All right, that passes unanimously. September board items. I have, well, the salaries will probably come back. Second, please remember that the new teacher day you are invited to the luncheon. That is on August 20th. And that will be at the middle school in the cafeteria catered by our new food service and the opening end service which is on August 24th breakfast begins at 7:45 to 8:30 and then we'll move to the gym for the teachers to get bored listening to me for the rest of the morning well, um, when is that the 24th of August is the opening end service which I hope you can kick off okay at 8:30 I don't have other salaries for September. I don't have anything right now. We should be finished with the construction. The school should be open and, you know, all of the beginning of the school year things to be brought to you at that point. Any other items? All right, a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? We're adjourned. Thank you.